Well, hello everyone. And welcome back to my shop. visit my headlight assembly and the vacuum actuated assembly and uh, finish correcting it I uh, even though they work I'm not satisfied with the uh, speed that they raise and lower and I found an additional problem up front so we're going to address that so stay tuned and let's do our headlights part two Alright, in playing with the uh, headlights more, I found, uh, I found my massive vacuum leak and it was the right front uh, headlight actuator. <laughs> when I, uh, well what did I do with it? When I pulled it out and tested it, the, the whole boot, well the dust boot was gone and the seal for this side was flopping around. I mean it was a massive vacuum leak. So it must have, and somehow, I'm going to guess somebody rebuilt this because there's a ring that's supposed to hold that seal in there. That uh, it was not ripped, and it was outside that ring. So how how did it get around that ring? The only thing I can think of, it wasn't placed inside there origin the correct way originally. So anyway, we're going to we purchased a new kit right here. It's got a new boot seal and, uh, and retaining ring there. We're going to install that and see if we can't get this working right. I can't. I, I don't see my part. My uh, my old parts laying around. I've got so many things laying around here. So many projects going that uh, oh, they're around here somewhere. But the uh, I've, I've already pulled the ring off. Here we go. Here's the old ring, and here's the old seal. Now I I've not found a hole. I probably could have reused it, but uh, I've decided to go ahead and just put put a new kit on it because uh, well. Anyway, so we're going to put the new kit on it, and here's the new dust boot and everything. So I've cleaned it up, and we're going to go ahead and slide, and I've taken the end off. All right, let me show you here. I've got a white dot here, so that's where, where that'll screw back down. So that way I know I get the uh, adjustment back right, and that's almost bottomed out anyway. So anyway, I didn't show that taking apart either. I just went at it uh, one evening and got it done. See, that fits on there good and tight. And we'll use a screwdriver and get that down in there.
So what I do is just be real careful working it down and not rip that brand new seal. All right. Test it. Push in and pull out. There we go. Pull out and hold it. See, look here. I'm holding it. So I can I can't push it. I can't push it in against it until I take my finger off. All right. And I can't pull it out unless I remove my finger. So there you go. That's how you test it. That's how you kind of know. Actually, you can test it in car. I tested the left side and uh, it passed this test. So I did buy a replacement kit for it, but I'm not going to replace it unless I have to. So anyway, the next thing you do is you put your retaining clip on. Now that retaining clip was still on this, <laughs> but that that uh, seal was off. So I don't know how they managed to do that. So you just bend these tabs and they uh, that's what keeps it in there. Alright. Like that. And there's three tabs to bend. Okay. And there you go. That retains the seal, and the dust boot goes down over. The whole, the whole everything. So. The dust boot just fits around the uh, the whole assembly. All right, so you can pull him out. See, he stretches all the way with him. And where's my back end? See, I can't, can't push him in. All right, and I can't pull him out unless I'm gonna do it. All right, and the back side can't pull him out unless I uncover it. Can't push him down. Well, there you go. It's really not that hard. The hardest part is getting this thing in and out of the car. I'll show you what I had to do. All right, I had to take the uh, the hood keeper here off. All right, and then I've got this board jamming it up. That way, the hood. Go opens more and that gives that minutia amount of clearance that you need to get that uh, vacuum actuator in and out so anyway there we go All right, we'll try to get him in Didn't want to scratch the paint.
just finding the right combination to get it right. All right, we got him in. Now we're gonna go underneath and bolt him up. All right, this is the underneath. You can see, maybe I can pull it up there a little better. Shine some light. You can see the four bolts where they bolt to the uh, the actuator to the frame, and then you can see. I'll try. Uh, unfortunately, with the limited space, I won't be able to show me doing it. But there's four bolts there. <clears throat> then there's a rod that'll. Uh, I'll extend out the uh, rod and put it in the brackets, and we should be good to go. So anyway, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> I wanted to show that all four bolts up there are installed and tightened. And now we're going to pull this rod down here and put it in this brace here. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to touch on you really want to have a, those are half inch bolts. And it would be really helpful if you had a swivel half inch socket. Not the uh, not a half inch socket with a swivel because that would be too tall. They actually make a swivel uh, a socket uh, with the swivel built in, and that would be real helpful. That's what I happen to have. I have a nine sixteenths and a half inch in those sizes, and they were handy back in the day. And that got those two upper bolts, this one and that one, because this brace right here gets in the way of your regular sockets. Anyway, now I'm going to do the rod. Unfortunately, I won't be able to record it, but <clears throat> simply it's pulling, pulling it out and putting the pin through, and I'll show you the pin. Here's the pin here, and you see there's bushings, all right? And there's a, so it slides in one way, and uh, then a cotter key goes through that hole which holds it. So anyway, I'm going to install that. I got the rod in, the bushes, the bushings in the arms, correct? I got the flat washer there. Now, these two springs, I'm going to bring them down and connect them to this cross rod. Again, due to space limitations, I won't be able to record it. I'll just show you and, and tell you if I run into any. Problems. All right, I just wanted to show I finally got the springs on. Getting those springs on, I believe, is the toughest part of this job. That and the two uh, bolts up close to the bracket. Those two, I mean, it's doable with the right stuff, but those springs, they gave me a little bit of a battle. So anyway, we're ready to hook the vacuum up and do some testing. He's a little slower coming up, but he's the first to go down. You know, I'm just going to try to build up my motivation to see if I want to rebuild him too. I do have a kit just to see if they all synchronize better. But uh, definitely my, my uh, right side now is working real good. And uh, I don't know, I'll think about the left side. Like I say, I'm not going to do a lot of driving at night. We'll see. I got a master cylinder to swap now. Huh.